<laughs> gotta use the length, but just saying. I got you. <laughs> Don't stay in the pocket with him. That's what he likes. That's what he likes. I can be on the outside. Nah, not with him. Nah, I can't be on the outside with him. His jab is. Nah, I can't do. I can't be on the outside with him. I gotta try to. No. Find out who's Brooklyn's finest once and for all. Hey, listen, the crown is kidding. big enough for the both of us. We got it on our shoulders for real. We taking it to the top. That's a fact. Don't get it twisted. Brooklyn, Brooklyn needs some special top. talents. We them special talents. Brooklyn That's right. That's right. Brooklyn, they, you know, they they trying to sing like. New York fighters is dead. It's, uh, yeah. uh, 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 like you know, it's it, it's over for us. It's, it's past our time now. Now we still here. We right. we, we carrying on the name for the Brooklyn fighters, New York fighters, man, for sure. That's how for sure. how much did you know Richardson uh, in the amateurs? Man, we well, was in the same gym together. You know, the crazy thing? You know like, the crazy thing? I knew about. I knew what like our idea of how I wanted to fight in the sport of boxing because of Shushu. Like I never knew nothing about boxing when I first was a kid. I never knew how I wanted to fight. None of that, but I knew you always liked the Floyd and Shushu as a kid was like the closest thing to Floyd I seen as a, as a, like as a kid, and I was like nah, like that's when I had to like become his best friend because I'm like nah, you gotta teach me what you know, like. I appreciate so, that. So like that was like one of the first like teachers like showing me the sweet sign Shushu. Appreciate it. It's Big beautiful. fight coming up next yeah. month in your division, uh, Devin Haney versus Regis Progress. Who you got, yeah. Regis? I, I think. Uh, Regis, I mean, not Regis, I think um, Devin Haney going to beat him because I think uh, Devin Haney's just a better boxer overall. He has way more in his toolbox. And I think that, uh, I keep, I say that because I don't see Regis making any adjustments. He he had a big opportunity with Eddie Hearn to, to come back as a WBC champ in his homecoming versus a guy that was not really uh, elite level type of talent and he couldn't make no adjustments in 12 rounds. So I don't see him, I don't, I don't really see what much adjustments he's going to do for Devin. Like, Unless he's just gonna try to make it rough or land a big shot, he don't got no other punch in his toolbox, no jab, no hook, no upper, because just a big left hand. And, and is the footwork a big problem for him? I just think him relying on that one punch is a big problem for him. He's just relying on one punch, and you don't, you can't. That's like me trying to de develop a Deontay Wilder right hand in, in three, four months. A camp ain't gonna happen. He he gonna come in there and rely to the same thing he's been doing. You can train for that too all day. You got to right. look out for it, stay away from it, and then make other adjustments. Same thing when I fought Zapata. You see him as Zapata going back and forth. I already knew Zapata had before I stepped in the ring with him, a left hand, and it didn't change up. And I expect I didn't I expected the best Zapata, but it's like, come on, you fought all these pro fights fighting the same way. What makes you think you're gonna change up when you're getting against me, Richardson? What would you think of uh, you know some people saying you did your thing, you pitched a shutout with Zapata, but they wanted more combinations and more more offense. What, I'm, I mean, li listen, it's still a growing process. You know, I, I'm still one of them, still them type of fighters that I know the boxing world gonna respect the, the performance. As far as you, you wipe out a, a guy 12-0 that been in with world class fights. I only got 17 fights. You know, yeah. Um, a lot of my career too, I've been on and off, a lot of setbacks. But I told people that that if the fight was gonna go like that. I had a game plan. I didn't, I didn't want to go out my character. But I promise you, next fight. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna fight for the fans, but I'm gonna definitely deliver a little bit more and make it more exciting. Right. Everybody just got high expectations for you, Chad. Right, because you know that the Bowser fight, yeah. it was a, a one-sided ass it was a massacre, but you know, you're only good as the last <laughs> fight. I come back, I, I dominated a dude, and now I'm just, you know, some guys got something bad to say about it, some guys got something good to say about it, but look, I'm still undefeated like a shirt, 17 though. <laughs> Next <laughs> fight, yeah, 18 though. Hey, Bob Merrill spoke about a, um, possibly making a fight between Ted Fimo and Ryan Garcia. Who do you see winning that fight? Um, stylistically, I think it would be a little difficult for Teofimo because of uh, Ryan height and Teofimo's kind of a boxer. He's not a guy that's kind of like, uh, I want to say he's not a guy that's going to kind of take it to Ryan and, and it's going to be a little chess match in the beginning. You know, just like with Tank and, and Ryan, it was a chess match. But you know, with Tank, all he needed was that one fight. So I feel like it, it, it's going to be similar to that because I don't really see Teofimo with a guy with a good jab that's really going to be able to pick play that game around on the outside and make it real difficult. So I see it being a chess match, but Teofimo will probably edge it, though. Speaking of a chess match, is that what you expect in the mall between David Santos and Shakir? Obviously, you got some sparring with both of them. Um, yeah, I've heard you speak more about his boxing skills. I haven't heard that much about that. So is that something that you think you yeah. show? I see De La Santo step into Shakur, trying to land a big left hand. Again, he's just a guy with a, with a big left hand. He's not a guy that's going to rely on his jab to put, score with his jab and then um, set up a big shot. He's a guy that's He's a good boxer, and he's his money shot is his left hand. He, he's relying on a lot of money shots, and Shakur is just going out boxing. I think uh, Shakur jab and Shakur uh, just distance and time is just going to throw him off. But I think that's going to be a, it's going to be a good fight. But it just it's levels, you know. It seems like uh, fighters and trainers they they they're zeroing in at on thirty five as Shakur and Tank, like that's the Spence Crawford type fight. That is. And why? Yeah. Why? 
I think because I think she, they, they, those both of them guys are guys that's versatile. They, they can do a lot of things in, in the ring. Tank is not a, just a guy with a left hand or just a hook. Tank is a guy that can counter punch instantly. A guy that can he can take it. He can take it to you, move his head. head. She course just a master of street science. Also, I think the fight, the, the difference of that fight, one guy have advantages as far as height and length, and one guy has advantages as far as power and speed. So. Right there is gonna be this is gonna be real interesting fight, and I'm I've been saying since day one I seen them spar. I know how the fight is gonna go. You seen them spar I seen each them other numerous rounds, right? Right. And, and none of them guys changed up from the times we all like was sharing a camp. It's the same tank, it's the same shikar. I know how the fight is gonna go, but I just can't wait for the world to see it. I wish you would tell me how it's gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna be a good fight. You're gonna be you're gonna be excited. I mean, any tank fight gonna be excited. You know, tank got that one punch knockout, so you you're gonna be excited regardless. You know what I'm saying? Tank bringing that that energy, that 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 dangerousness to that arena to where everybody's gonna be on point. So I think it's gonna be an exciting fight for Who, boxers. Who's, who's more more athletic? Because they're both great athletes. Um, I would say that. Uh, I would say that Tank probably is more of an athlete, and Shakur is more of a, like a, a, a person, a scientist. Yeah. Last big question. I do got to have you guys finish that. Like all the Marvels just got announced for the heavyweight Usyk versus Fury. It's a great boxing match, but who do you see winning that? You seek versus Fury. Uh, I don't know. It's a toss up. I know. I know they say you only guys last fight Fury. Look, yeah. if he's last fight, yeah. right? Who you got? I mean, it's, I mean, at, to be honest, that's the same thing with me. It's, it's a little toss up at this point, but I'm still going Fury. I'm going Fury.